going down to the memory bell. Wheels is you, coach limping. Be prudent. Yes, we are a little buggered on the wheels front. Those screams will never leave me. You should talk to Barry. Zero affinity. Huh. Not seen that before. How is that different to neutral? Oh no, that means... Wait, that means you've got like absolutely nothing. Yeah, neutral would be 10. Or thereabouts. Zero affinity, 90% chance, extremely likely to form a negative relationship. Great, I suppose, Barry, you did fucking hit her in the back with a mace last time. Women tend to remember that kind of thing. I mean, anyone tends to remember that kind of thing. Is this her last one? It is! Oh. Do no harm. Depends who you're against. Do no harm to your, you know, university lecturer. Procedural affair. A carboy of acid would dissolve the thing, and no evidence would remain. In the weeks that followed, however, she found herself unable to focus, sitting motionless at her desk, paralyzed by the ceaseless wailing that reverberated in her mind. Ah, there it is. Whoa, that's a new one. Magnesium rain? That's metal as fuck. And it clears corpses. Shit damn, that might be my new favourite move. And you're fine as well, I guess. <laughs> Magnesium rain. What horror I have wrought. Yeah, but you got some sick moves out of it. Stop. Stop. Why did the coach not stop? That's not fair. Um, wow, that's better than purple rain. Move over, Prince. Disorienting Blast. That, you know, that's good as a debuff thing. Um, it's more if she's front rank, I think. Not front rank, but fronter rank. Wow. What's that upgraded to? Just... It's, oh yeah, there's quite a long cooldown on it. But... To be fair though, if you open with that, and then that, and then that, then you back round and you can use it again. <laughs> rain fire, rain flashbangs, rain blight and acid and just a, a trio that you can circle forever wonderful um, yeah luckily everyone was in favor of a wild stab in the dark and it's not a fight so thank Christ for that There were bees, though. How many fights have we got after this? Voracious and decadent, the landowners and peasants alike descended into an orgy of consumption. They don't look like the type, if you ask me, but I'll take your word for it. We'll eat better tonight if we help them. Scouting, near. Hmm. Wheels. If we stick to the right, the wheels won't be a problem. But then we'll also have, like, way more fights. Um. That would be armor into an oasis. And then... Yeah. 
there's a way to avoid wheels. I'm not sure we need the in items though. I'd, I'd better to just take the insurance on this, I think. Yeah, I don't actually know what route we are taking after this. The Oasis seems a good bet. But then... Uh, we're unknown or a fight. Although that's going to be a fight either way, so maybe it'd be better to get something for that. And then two fights. We can probably manage two more fights. Now that the NHS has unlocked white phosphorus or whatever the fuck it was. Echoes of humanity twisted by hopelessness. Wait, what? I thought this... Yeah, sorry. Delayed reaction there. Uh, I didn't twig that there was a barricade here, apparently. Well, shit. More shit, I guess. A slow dissection. Elite enemies. Mm. Not my favourite kind of enemies. Perhaps we can slow them all down? We can slow those two down. Which kind of makes it not worth it, I'll be honest. Um, let's stop big chap being quite so brutal. No, we can't. Okay, fuck. He's just going to cleave all our heads off no matter what I do, apparently. Yeah, magnesium rain. Beautiful. And it inflicted blight because of the... Uh, uh, the trinkets have gone on. Sick. That is my new favourite move. And it works quite well with uh, with Runaway here. Because you can sort of double your... Uh, your, your Bernie. Double your Bernie. Sound like a fucking carny. Oh, shit. Why are you in Meltdown? You just got a cool new move. Is it because it's the equivalent of White Phosphorus? Does that possibly leave you with some not great feeling ethical implications? You're a bit beyond that anyway. You reanimated a corpse. You're too far down the ethical rabbit hole. You might as well give up on all of it at this point. Um, what is this actually at? Oh, it's not a huge amount, is it? So, four and two to six. Okay, you're probably dead. You could do with a bit more. Nice. Their entire round of turns was nothing. Excellent. Two and five. Not quite. Two and five. Still alive. Five and five. Definitely not, not alive. Anyway. Not sure I wanted him that far back, to be honest, but uh, yeah, he'll do. Hey, that works too. Take this moment to uh, be a bit less battered. And he misses another turn. Terrific.
Yeah, I just want to see it again. The enemy weakens and wanes. I see, that is the downside to it. So the move itself doesn't actually do any damage, but it is just a pure infliction thing. That's, yeah, it seems a bit broken otherwise. Damage and inflicting burn and clearing corpses on all four ranks. That would be a bit mental. Bones. Right, any more surprises or just imagine how lost we'd be without ye. He's talking to the other people or is he just talking to his one eye that's left? Right. Well, um, do definitely want to see your stuff. But I think we were further along with Runaway, so I think we were up to maybe two or three from her. How could this thing that warmed us on cold nights be terrible? Because it fire. And fire am a double-edged fiery sword. Chapter 3. Drawn to the flame. Like a mollusk. She would stay up long into the night, tending the fire. Captivated by its shifting hues, she thrilled to the eerie dance of spark and ember, running her fingers absent-mindedly over the scars that patterned her arm. The hearth light seemed somehow alive, and in these private moments, she yearned to reach out and be touched once again by its searing embrace. Hmm. Controlled burn. No, well, I was hoping it would be therapy, honestly, after hearing all that, but... Okay. Try fucking ice cubes. It's the total opposite of what she wants, but... Yeah. Damn. Um... Cooldown 3, ignores stealth. Apply what on attack? Oh, I have to fucking... Everyone remembers their first love. Okay, you... Off the deep end with this, are you then? It's not just pyromania at that point, is it? That's pyrophilia. Hmm. Um, so, <laughs> apply on attack. What? Oh, okay, it's there. Inflicts two on enemies in this rank on turn start. So, just a uh, Continuous burn infliction? But no damage, seemingly. Similar to the magnesium thing, I suppose. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try it out for a bit. Always worth a go. The upgraded version is just a upgraded version in all ways. Must be pretty good if it's got a cooldown of three. You would think, anyway. Uh, now what were we looking at here? Oasis and then the re resistance encounter. Barry and Galley Spank both want that, so... Happy to oblige. This was all a mistake. You just said you wanted to go to the Oasis. You can't change your mind now. Mind your heads. Oh. Was it you who was the northern one, Barry? Did I did I misread Toblerone back there? You ain't so bad. Uh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? 
Just using the word ain't doesn't make you northern. A refreshing commune unburdens the mind. Um. Oh, he gets some supplies from it, does he? How, how does that work? You, you're proposing I wash my hair in this gunge. <laughs> it just makes me th think of 90s game shows whenever anyone says gunge. A new mini boss encountered, Dave Benson Phillips. That's just the collector. That's that's who it is under there. Who incidentally, um, he hasn't come up on stream yet, but when I was doing practice runs, I have fought him a few times now. Um, it would have been nice to have got the first reaction on stream, but it's completely random, as best I can tell, so I couldn't much avoid that. Um, I think he's less annoying than he was in the first game. Who? The Collector or Dave Benson Phillips? Uh, yes. I've actually managed to beat him more regularly. It's not chaos, it's becoming <laughs> predictably regular, these fucking barricades. I hope whatever comes after resentment has less barricades. Right, controlled burn. It can hit anyone, and it will keep hitting them. So... you? Yeah, so just going to keep doing that on the start of their turn. That's pretty cool. And just to double up on it. God, that's actually crazy good when you combine it with the, with the, um, this, wait, no, it's not that, is it? It's the poison ring that's doing it, yeah. Shit damn. Now it's become a, a full four rank burn and blight infliction. God damn. You, ew, fly. Sorry. Um... Yeah, when you get the right combination of things in these games, you can really start to s sweep the floor with them. Wipe the floor with them? You know what I mean. Anyway, there's a broom involved and, and they're beneath the broom. Ah, I see. And that stays on that rank rather than that person. Noted. A promising development. In some ways, it's probably, you know, kind of good to always do it on the front rank because anyone else who dies is going to be moved up to there. I mean, corpses aside, generally speaking. Ah, although, no, well, yeah. So it's actually just going to be doing it on the corpse now. Which is not, not useful, but... That's all of you fucked. Excellent. Uh, oh, you don't actually need to heal, do you? Fuck it. Have a drink anyway. Um, yeah, that couldn't hurt. Mr. 
this wound at least has been tended to. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Yes, I think the next test is immediately. I think that's the last of the fucking barricades, though, at least. Two more fights. Oh, it's the meat people. Well, at least Barry's effective against them. Oh god, those they're all just gunk and pus leaking out of the wheelbarrow there. Revolting. Well, I know who I definitely want to get. If you're not going to get moved about by anything, then at least get burnt. Mm, not that bravo, they both resisted it, but... Weaken them, that another may finish the work. Purple rain. All aflame. Malaise. Did I just say purple rain in the way of purple haze? Yeah, I did, didn't I? And neither of those are what the move is called. Okay, but... Just, fuck it. <laughs> Some days it's just best not to worry about your inability to properly use the English language. Get this fucking goat out of the way. Jesus. The worst one yet. Fucking hell, these goats and their headbutts. Crazy. Sure, that might be the best move here because you're really out of the ideal rank. Are you going to be dead yet? No, you're not, are you? Hmm. Just <laughs> caught up in the music there for a second. Jaunty little tune, but also creepy. No, I just realised Wheelbarrow Man's going to eat it or something. Uh, mm -hmm, yang. None of these are the great moves to use, are they? Uh, oh, sure, and then we'll move you forward again. Might be worth doing. Son of a bitch. Oh, and the fire thing's gone off now, but I have to assume that did some good for, for a minute there. I mean, she probably still does, but I remember she had used to have moves that moved her about as well. At least one that moved her back. I feel like Pick to the Face used to be a movement forward as well. Can't entirely recall now. Hmm. 
not so good when they both resist it, but... Okay, yeah, you're not going to get back in the right position unless we move you, so... Very gradual kind of attack, that. Or you can just do that. That that works too. Steady yourself. That's fucking half her health in one shot. Should be fucked. Yes. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Speaking of unpleasant in the extreme, if that's what I think it is. Barry, why have we found your eye? Care to explain? makes his shouting skills better. I don't... because you can know who he's looking at. If first in turn order, blindness. How does that work? That's He's getting both eyes back. That shouldn't be the case. Okay, so that wouldn't work so well for where we've got him anyway. Um, yeah. I, I just don't think that's the one to use at the moment. And I keep forgetting we get some of these at the Oasis. Good for if you've got him in other ranks though, I suppose. Pass that here, I'll mend it. Hope he's not talking about his eye again. The coach's plating is spent. We are I know. exposed. I know, exposed to bees. Luckily there aren't any more. Now it's just freaky cultists. Okay, none of the bagpipe fishmen. They weren't fishmen, fish trumpet. And it wasn't even fish trumpet, it was first trumpet or fist trumpet. Don't fist a trumpet, that's the main takeaway. Uh, actually, no. If there's a chance to move him back, that's worth doing. Yeah. Oh. Well, presumably there's a chance for it to not resist it on every turn again. The fiend's strength dwindles. Here we go. Woo. He does that one-handed as well, which is really just showing off. Let's see if we can't bring you forward as well.
Yeah, four and four? Yeah, that's, that you're definitely fucked. Oh, galley spank. Way! Never met a tomb nor trap that could handle me. You, what? Are you Tomb Raider now? What? Oh, yeah, no, she's a grave robber, so she is in the more literal sense of the term. Cease your wriggling and let me work. Uh, that's Barry, that's not your reanimated corpse, fellow. Don't get it twisted. Ah, the mop and bucket doing something again. Hurrah. How much blight have you got on you at this point? 14. Still not quite enough, but it helps. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. about now. 18. Should be enough. Then again, <laughs> I'll never forget we were fighting the Lung Dragon with fucking 51 blight on it and it still didn't die. Hit him in the face. And then just shout at him for no reason. Just freak him out before he dies. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Ah, my favourite kind of gains. Adrenalizing ash. Uh, at turn end, you get speed, but if you miss, you proper miss. How does that work, adrenalizing oh, ash? Whispers. Maybe best not to think about it. The heart calls out to the weary. And click spittle calls out for blood. See, I keep trying to hear the noises and go, is that cute? And it's like, no, but you're trying. As I say, this sort of sound cuter than they look. But it's a low bar for both. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favourite guests. But first, let's see what terrible personality traits we've gained. The Jinx. Apply to attack and when attacked. Oh damn, that's actually pretty good. Zoophobic. Intense fear of animals and non-human creatures. God damn it, Barry. I mean, it's not really... <laughs> At least you're not hitting women now, but I mean, you shouldn't hate animals either. I suppose we haven't hit a hospital at any point during this, so... It makes it more difficult. The Butcher's Feast. Kind of not what you want to hear after what we just went through, but sure. Provinces and camp threads of our land, crumbling and undone. Oh well, pretty clear which one of these we will be going to, if it's the uh, hospitals we're after. Ah, uh, but more candles that way. Who knows? Anyway, that's a decision for next time, and I'll I'll bread everyone up to the gills, and uh. Oh damn, so everyone's going to be blighting people when I put that on. Yeah, the blight party shall continue. We'll poison the fuck out of everyone and learn some more about Toblerone and Galley Spank. And maybe, maybe, kill a Lung Dragon at the end of it. But no promises. Or indeed, even hope. <laughs>